so nature has become a real business. It has its own capital and can offer its services to consumers. Without rain in the Amazon rainforests, there would be no agricultural economy in South America. A service estimated to be worth $240 billion. There is an area that is the oceans, coral reefs, as you can see. They cut across the entire globe, all the way from Micronesia, across Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Madagascar, and to the west of the Caribbean. These red dots, these red areas, basically provide the food and livelihood for more than half a billion people. So that's almost an eighth of society. And scientists tell us that any level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere above 350 parts per million is too dangerous for the survival of these reefs. We are risking the Over time, Pavan Sukhdev has become the global guru on economy and biodiversity. His goal is to convince the world of the importance of these capital assets. Calculating the economic value of nature has become his life's purpose. He can put a figure on an ecosystem as easily as he can assess global losses, at the risk of turning nature into a commodity. The total loss of value every year was almost two to four trillion US dollars. That is two to four million million US dollars. That's almost the same size as the loss that was suffered in the financial meltdown in 2008, which was about five trillion dollars. So that gives you a sense of how big these losses are, and yet they are invisible because we are not accounting for the capital when it disappears, when the forests disappear, when the wetland is closed. We are not accounting for the losses because we are not accounting for the income. The assets are invisible. Same problem, economic invisibility of nature.